Once upon a time in a quaint village, there lived a benevolent man named Emery. Emery was known for his empathy, magnanimity, and his eagerness to assist others. He spent his days spreading optimism and making a meaningful impact on people's lives. His unwavering kindness and a heart full of compassion had made him renowned throughout the community. Emery consistently went the extra mile to aid those in need, spreading warmth and kindness wherever he went. Due to this innate quality, many people had grown resentful of him. Nevertheless, despite his virtuous nature, Emery often pondered why misfortune befell good-hearted individuals while the wicked prospered without any troubles. One overcast day, as Emery strolled through the village, he noticed a young girl weeping by the roadside. Concerned, he approached her and inquired, What's troubling you, dear? The girl sobbed as she explained that her family's residence had been reduced to ashes, leaving them destitute and bereft of their belongings. Emery's heart sank as he listened to her woeful tale. He offered solace, assuring her that things would eventually improve. Deep within, though, he couldn't help but wonder why such calamity had befallen an innocent family. Emery was profoundly disheartened by these events, prompting him to seek answers. He decided to consult an elderly sage from his village who resided in a serene and picturesque cottage in a secluded part of the village. Upon arriving at the sage's cottage, Emery respectfully bowed before the sage, who gestured for him to sit down alongside others troubled by life's trials. The elderly sage was already engrossed in providing profound guidance and sagacious advice to those in need. When it was Emery's turn, he conveyed his concerns and inquired about why bad things transpired to good people. The sage, with his wrinkled countenance and gentle eyes, warmly beckoned Emery to sit beside him. Emery, my child, you must have discerned that those who perform virtuous deeds often endure sorrow and tribulation, while those who engage in malevolence lead joyous lives. Those who commit acts of kindness often grapple with the mystery of why they must face numerous hardships in life. Therefore today, I shall impart to you a deeper understanding of karma, something you may have been unaware of throughout your life. Hearing this, Emery inquired, Karma, what is karma? Please enlighten me, Master. The aged sage responded, Emery, you must acquire a profound comprehension of karma. He went on to elucidate, Karma is frequently described as the law of cause and effect. It implies that the choices you make can influence your future experiences. Positive actions yield positive consequences, whereas negative actions result in unfavorable outcomes. Thus, listen attentively, Emery, my dear. The sage commenced, Life is capricious, and the world is a realm of both virtue and vice. Occasionally, unfortunate events befall good-hearted people due to the inherent unfairness of life. It is an integral facet of the human journey, and we must navigate it with wisdom. If calamities befall someone, it is often the outcome of their karma, for nature does not perpetrate injustice, and karma's law is impartial. The sage continued, Nature provides everyone with the opportunity to choose their path. It is contingent upon an individual's will whether they opt for the path of righteousness or that of malevolence. If your life is fraught with adversity and hardship, it is indicative of some past transgression, some act of wrongdoing whose consequences you must endure today. Gradually, Emery began to fathom these principles. The sage further expounded, everything transpires for a reason. Hence, do not question it, but rather trust it. Emery, my dear, heed these words closely. The sage expounded on the notion that those who inflict sorrow and suffering upon others without cause can never find true happiness in life. Ultimately, they will bear the weight of their own sorrows and misfortunes. This is the inexorable decree of karma. Karma does not offer a menu. You shall be served what you deserve.
emphasized the sage. If someone torments you today, it does not signify that they shall revel in eternal happiness. Someday, they shall atone for their actions. Another individual will enter their life, subjecting them to the same pain and tribulations they once wrought upon others. This is the essence of karma. Having heard these teachings, Emery was eager to inquire further about the prosperity of wicked individuals. He asked the sage, Honorable Master, why do malevolent individuals lead lives of happiness and affluence in this world? What virtuous deeds have they performed to merit such happiness? Why do they not face retribution for their wickedness? In response, the aged sage elucidated, Emery, wicked individuals savor happiness in this life due to their prior virtuous deeds, whether in this life or a previous incarnation. The day their store of good deeds is depleted marks the commencement of their misfortunes. Karma proclaims, Refrain from seeking revenge in this world, for karma shall deliver harsh justice on your behalf. Remember, how others treat you is a consequence of their karma, while how you react is your own. Therefore, do not squander your time seeking vengeance. Those who harm you shall ultimately confront their own karma. The sage imparted the timeless wisdom that, while a bird is alive, it consumes ants. When the bird dies, the ants consume it. This is the essence of karma. There is a profound aphorism about karma. Karma never loses an address. Hence, karma is life itself. Your actions dictate the outcomes you receive. Time can bring about transformations unexpectedly. Do not underestimate anyone in life, for although you may possess power, time wields even greater power. Every individual is born alone, dies alone, and bears the consequences, both good and bad, of their karma alone. They journey alone to their destiny, whether it be an abode of damnation or the supreme realm. Subsequently, the Venerable Sage emphasizes that challenging circumstances and times presented an opportunity for afflicted individuals to demonstrate their resilience and fortitude. He expounded, During these trying times, the genuine strength of good-hearted people shines brightly. Their capacity to transcend adversity, their unshakable faith in goodness, and their unwavering determination inspire others and bring about positive transformation. The sage recounted stories of individuals who had confronted unfathomable adversities yet their spirits remained unbroken. He spoke of activists advocating for justice, physicians healing the infirm, and educators nurturing young minds, despite grappling with personal tragedies. These narratives underscored the idea that adversity did not define these individuals. It was their responses that distinguished them. As Emery listened intently, he comprehended that adversity befalling virtuous people was not a punitive measure or an assessment of their character. Rather, it served as an opportunity for personal growth, compassion, and the potential to make a lasting impact. The sage's words ignited a fervor within Emery, motivating him to be an agent of positive change.